Okay, afternoon guys. Thank you for joining me. <coughs> so Sunday the 28th of November. I just came out of church, got my wife at home, so my kayak is on the roof, everything is packed, I've got some snacks, exciting stuff, the weather is beautiful, the sky is blue, not like the previous two times that we had to catch in the rain with raincoats, uh, which is also great fun, enjoy every moment of that, but yeah, today is the weather is beautiful, as you can see, nice blue skies. I'm driving the 59 kilometers from Polokwane to Stanford Lake through Heinensburg. Uh, well, there's already a couple of reports of accidents this morning in Machuwas Kluwe, but luckily that is on the other side, but always take note that it's a dangerous road to drive when it's wet, it's very slippery, and visibility can be a challenge. So yeah, um, I'm excited, like always, the summer months will not last forever. So the, the winter will come again and then you don't have this opportunity to go fishing so often. So rather than staying at home and wasting your time doing nothing, nothing productive for that, for that matter, you might as well get on your kayak and go catch some bass. So thanks for joining me. I'll keep you updated. For now it's just a 40 minutes drive and we'll be there. As I've told you before, this is the ZCC Church. And ZCC does not stand for Zulu Cricket Club, it stands for Zion Christian Church. For interest sake, on this spot just here on this corner that you see here is where I once found a hippopotamus walking in the street. I was coming from Stanford about, it was dark, it was probably about 8 o'clock somewhere there at night. And I will see if I can find that clip for you. This is a small town of Heinesburg and I've previously referred to it as a, being a German town but it actually is not a German town. Okay, so the, <coughs> the origin of the town is something uh, I'm not certain of at the moment. All I can tell you is this is not a German town. Alright, time to launch. Everything went well with the packing and unpacking all by myself, which is the best way. That's what you want. You want rest for yourself. Quietness is a place to be with people, which is most of the time, but there's also a place and time to be all by yourself. And this is now my time. Sure, that took a while there. It's probably about two hours now. It's been probably another hour, another hour or so, and the fishing is very, very quiet. We're going to start later this afternoon. Or was it the cold weather of yesterday? Because I feel the water is quite cold. So maybe they're just simply inactive today. Hopefully they will kick in late afternoon, which is usually the better time. So yeah, at this stage, it's not going great, but it's still very, very nice. I'm enjoying every moment of it. I don't know what's going on in your life at this stage. Maybe you're anxious about certain things and the uncertainties. Like, well, as I'm sitting here on this kayak, the report of the fourth wave that was been, that has been uh, predicted like three months ago has decided to pitch up according to the South African science right here under our nose in South Africa. And the implication is far reaching for us, which is uh, kind of ridiculous. Aha, okay, there's a fishy. 
Is he still on? Is he still on? Yeah. Oops. Okay, there he comes off. Okay, that's a good sign. That's a good sign. So as I was so wonderfully interrupted by this little fish, I was saying that um, the month-long predicted fourth wave decided to pitch up in South Africa and now people's families that are in other countries cannot come home and they cannot go to them and you know, we actually have a competition on in December which is like in a week's time and we still don't know if it's going to happen or not so yeah whatever sense you are experiencing some challenges in your life at the moment just forget about it for a while and look at this video that I've made that I'm busy making and just forget about all those things pretend yourself being here on the water with me even if you're not into bass fishing just enjoy the relaxing music forget about all the weird stuff in life Let's just hope and pray that everything will work out the way it should. Well, we, we know it can it will always work out the way it should. How pleasant it's going to be is another question. And in what sense it will influence us is another question. But God is still in control of our lives. We can trust Him for always having His whole hand over us because He promised that He loves us. And he's got good plans for us. So yeah, I don't know where you stand concerning your faith. If you have any faith in God. What do you trust in for life? Hopefully you're not only trusting in yourself. Because that's going to be that's going to be not very reliable. So yeah. Just switch off and enjoy scenery and relaxing music hopefully i'll come and catch some nice fish for you biggest one the biggest one was about one kilo just underneath one kilo of the last couple of weeks uh, my personal best fish I caught here was uh, it's almost been it's almost a year now it was a 3.5 kilo and that I caught on the 31st of December last year 2020 So they are big fish here. Yeah. They definitely are big fish. Seems like you need uh, some patience, some luck and some a lot of skill to really to really find the bigger ones it seems these days. And I think what makes it difficult is that they're probably amongst the thick reeds and oh I found it so frustrating to try to cast amongst those long reeds and things. So there is a different system that I've seen, they call it jig poling or jigging. But they would take a 20 foot pole and then just at the end of it a piece of line. And then you would go right, right into the thick, the thick uh, grass and things and then you just flop, 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 flop this thing on the surface of the water and that, that aggravates them. It's a very old way of catching them. I found some very old videos on YouTube of an old man that did here in the 70s and 80s and 
just a big, they caught such a lot of big fish. So it seems like we must try something like that. We caught one a little bit more decent. Okay, we caught a nice one. Okay, I'm happy with it, man. Just like, but that took so long, and it's right here, right here in the reeds. Just shows you we're just hanging out here, out here, and it's difficult to get in there, you know, because there's a lot of obstacles and stuff. But, it seems like that that's what you need to do you need to stay patient and maybe just stand up on the kayak and just gently pop it in there and hopefully it'll get close to a nice big one like this oh, it's probably a 650 700 grams maybe maximum but let's see i think oh 650 650 hold it 660 you see 660. Okay, not bad. Happy. There are so many nice little corners here. Let's see, like that one, if I can just cross it right. Yeah, perfect. Perfect. Just let it lie and settle down a bit. And start bringing it here out. over the lily and then it floats down like this you know it's got a very nice natural action and it's one it's tend to go down and it's floating down but the fish kind of settles since tends to strike on it you know let's keep your eye on the lure because bumps against the lilies it feels very much the same as a bite you know so that you don't overreact to every little bump that you find that you feel time to take a break nice Stanford Lake one of the most wonderful places that came into my life or that I go them into its life or is it an it i don't think you can call something so so meaningful and so valuable in your life an it you know, i don't know what can you call it let's just call it a lake a beautiful lake a bass lake a beautiful setting beautiful scenery and such a blessing to me so yeah this one is on stanford lake to stanford lake and all the all the relaxation, all the therapy, all the pleasure that's been giving me this last year. Oh, wonderful, wonderful. You see, so what's nice about the Van Hanks, it's got these little compartments here. You can put your your lure tray or something in there but it keeps a drink nicely in position as well Come here. oh yeah oh yeah can you believe it oh nice oh that's nice fish again it's just right here next to me it's probably about three meters from me in the thick reeds wow what a beauty this one is 520 grams what do you say i say 520 if i'm lucky 
560, 560, right here amongst the reeds. Man, this is fun. Okay, it seems to me like this uh, weightless fluke. The weightless fluke seems to work better than the little fluke or the grabber with a little weight on in front. Okay, so see just here in the thickness of all this. That's why I caught this one. Machtig, you know what? That's how you learn. I mean, it's just again, again, it's right here in the thick stuff that this guy is hanging out. I mean, it looks so thick that you can't even figure the fish would be able to swim there. And yet, there it is, and my worm's gone. Another one here in the thickets smallest of them this is probably 400 grams of so we're not going to weigh this one let's just let's just see how this one swims away Fishy, stay on. Yes.
Okay guys, that might be the end of our fishing for today. Yeah, it was mainly <coughs> a thick, thick vegetation reed fishing expedition today. Oh, somebody killed a bird here, can you believe it? That's interesting, what could that have been? Some animal killed a bird here. This will be the ending of our video. Thank you so much for joining me. Please, can I ask you to like and subscribe if you've enjoyed this. If you have any comments, any, anything you can maybe add or give me some good advice, please do so. I'll appreciate it so much. Until next time, please join me again here at Stanford Lake. Look how beautiful this place is. Oh, it's lovely, yeah? Again today all by myself. But you are here with me. I appreciate that. So if you want to join me, I can help you have a day, uh, a day pass or whatever you want to call it here. You can join me for a day here. Yeah? So let me know and I can we can organize it.